Living room is a real critical part of the house. So we have a side door, we have a garage door. Instead of a wall of closet doors, I did these built-in. So we have clothing storage on either side for hanging. And then you really need drawers for gloves and scarves and mitts, but great place to put keys and charge the cell phone here. A mirror is essential in a, in a mudroom. And then just outside the mudroom, I did a bench. And this is a focal point down the hall. And I love having art in this area. So we did this graphic pattern of frames with some cool art. Now you walk from the hallway to the kitchen through the family room and how we define that is through the area rug. We have the hardwood here and the area rug starts here so it almost feels like a hallway but you get the spaciousness of both together. The sectional is here and it's in a soft gray which is a sort of classic color and what we did to punch the room is this great grass cloth in this deep turquoisey blue. Now the trim is painted the same color also and so are the drapes and that creates this great enveloping of the room. One of the details I really like if you notice up here is we do these slotted vents so they disappear into the wall and that's instead of the big metal vent on the wall. Now instead of one coffee table, I did two. I actually did a coffee table and end table at different heights. And that adds a little more interest to the space. Two chairs over here and the trend right now is really hot with mid-century furniture. These are new, but this is vintage from the 1950s. And to bring a pop of color here also, we did this beautiful clay table. It's almost like those Chinese garden stools. We've got great color in the painting and the pillows. But one of the big focal points here is the fireplace. And I love it because it's a see-through fireplace. So when you're outside, you can enjoy it. When you're inside, you can enjoy it. And you can see right through it to the garden. You enter the house through these double doors into this foyer. And we use a porcelain tile. It looks like stone. It's fantastic. But really practical in the elements in the wintertime with the boots and everything. On either side of the doors, I did full-length windows. And that brings a lot of light into the space. We did a wooden Venetian so you can adjust those to allow light and privacy. And then a very light console on either side and that's great for flowers putting down your purse anything you want but it really animates that space now this is the living room it's really a great room and we did one big carpet because we didn't want to emphasize one area from the other and it gives you the flexibility of being able to move the dining room table and extend it now we did define the dining area with this fixture so that defines this space but what we did was we took the host chairs away and stored them in another room and that gives this area a little more of a modern feel. And this is a great space when you're entertaining to put drinks and food down and it acts as almost like a big buffet. We did a bar cart over here and that's a great area to use to store it but you can bring it into the main area if you need it. Now the living area is divided into two spaces so we have two sofas with a coffee table here and then at this end we have another sofa with two chairs. We did different coffee tables but we did the same metal. So the end tables, the coffee table, are mixed with chrome and wood. And then on this end, we did a upholstered screen. And I love the way it emphasizes the height. It's the same material as the sofa, and you could still mount art on it. It really adds an architectural element. But one of the big details we did is the mirror on either side. And that reflects the French doors on the other side of the room and really creates an openness to this side. One of the dramatic features in this room are the windows. And I wanted these really high windows, but we had a budget. So what I did was I used standard components. We used this small window here, we used that small window there, and a medium window in the center to give that really dramatic feeling. The walls throughout the room are panels, so we use traditional paneling. Even though the furniture is contemporary, I like that mix of traditional and modern. And then we painted it from the floor all the way up to the crown in the same color and matched the drapes. So this great combination of traditional and modern.